my head. What the hell? Johansson. Novak. Novak, come in. Great. That's just great. I read you. Listen, I'm injured. It's really bad. What? What is it? Man, it's bad. Just get to the cockpit as fast as you can. Uh, okay, hang in there. I'll be there in a minute. There's no terrain data. It's the engineer's hibernation chamber. Looks like poor Johansson didn't make it. I should have a second look at him after I manage to open the chamber from the medical room. It's the tube that supplies the chamber with the fluid and electricity. Maybe I should check it closer. It's the tube. Looks like the hibernation chamber is leaking fluid. I'll have to check back here later to figure out what's wrong with the system. The panel doesn't have power. I need something to power it up. The door is held firmly closed by the hydraulics. I can't force it open. It's empty. It's stuck. The computer must have tried to close it according to the atmosphere containment protocol when we crash landed. I hope the hull is intact. I can't use that to force it open. It controls the door. The hydraulics are under pressure. If I could release them somehow... It's too dark. It's too dark up there. I wouldn't see a thing. It's too dark there. I wouldn't see a thing. The door is held firmly closed by the hydraulics. I can't force it open. I've unscrewed the tube. There's an adapter piece underneath it. It's the engineer's hibernation chamber. That won't open it. I can't use that to force it open. That won't do any good. I broke it open with the wrench and released the valve.
I should operate the other screen. The touch panel has no power. It's an endless desert. Why do spaceships always crash land on desert planets? Why couldn't we have crash landed on a tropical beach planet? There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. It's a small fracture on the ship's hull. I need to seal it with something. That won't seal the hull breach. Wow, that, that does look nasty. Right. Listen. We need to get this rod out. The suit's meant to have sealed my wo wounds. So I'm alright for now. But you will have to patch up the holes in the suit after you've removed the rod. You, you'll need some glue for that, I guess. I think we might have something in the cargo bay. Hurry up, alright. And everything shut down after the crash. So I read it. Try to get the power back online and reboot the mainframe. I'll get on it. I'll monitor your progress on helmet cam. Radio me when you need help. Thanks, Novak. That's still captured to you. Yeah, make me say it. Ah, oh, just get to work. Both consoles blew up. First Novax, then mine. I got lucky, he didn't. I hope he makes it though. I admit, I don't like him that much, but I don't want him to die either. The console is beyond repair. We'll have to find another way to pilot the ship. The console is beyond repair. I don't want to pull the rod out before I find something to seal the suit with. That won't seal the hull breach. The touch panel has no power. I should operate the other screen. In order to get into engineering, you will need to supply the control panel next to the door with power. That won't do any good. The panel doesn't have power. I need something to power it up. I need to use something with power in it. It's too dark up there. It's too dark there. I wouldn't see a thing. That doesn't need the power. That doesn't need screwing. I don't want to unscrew that. That doesn't need... That doesn't need fitting to... This control panel seems to be fine, except it doesn't have power. I don't want to damage it, if possible. That won't open it. I don't want to throw that in the other room. I wouldn't do that. The console is beyond rep The console is The console is beyond rep There's no terrain data. I should operate the other screen. I could break it. I could break the touch panel has no power. 
That won't do any good. It's a small fracture on the ship's hull. I need to seal it with something. That won't seal the hull, Breach. That won't seal the hull. That won't seal the hull, Breach. It's empty. I don't want to put that there. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. That won't open it. That won't open it. That won't open it. That won't open it. Johansson, our late engineer, used to use the top of these cabinets as a work desk. They're full of his stuff. The right engine is shot to hell. The middle engine looks fine from the outside, but you never know. We'll ultimately find out when we get off this rock. Several cables seem to be loose. They must have been torn down when we crashed. Most of the conduits are fried. That doesn't need fitting together. It's the main power conduit that channels power to the rest of the ship. It seems to be offline. It has a safety switch that shuts down the power going through it to prevent the user from getting electrocuted. The main panel got loose and it activated the safety. There, I've tightened the screws. Wait, that should have turned off the safety and the conduit should be humming with power. I've screwed the panel back on, but the safety switch is still on, and the conduit is making crackling noises like a badly tuned TV set. The ship has very little power, and the reactor is offline. I will need some extra power to start it up again. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. The ship has very little... That has no power in it. That has no power in it. I can't use that to replace the fuel cells transfer. That has no power in it. I can't... The panel is functioning perfectly, thanks to the batteries in the doll. The panel is... do that. I can't attach that to the glue gun. I wouldn't do that. That doesn't need... I wouldn't do that. That has no power in it. 
better go with brute force again. I don't want to put that in there. There's nothing else there. I already fixed the panel. I don't want to throw that in the... Main reactor offline. Currently operating on auxiliary power. Finally. Nice job, Powell. Computer. Determine cause of course deviation. Course compromised due to an extreme gravitational anomaly. Specify source of anomaly. Shockwave regression analysis plates a source of anomaly on the second planet of the Beta C Igni system. Specify our current location. Beta C Igni 2. Wow, we're on Dead Rock? The Dead Rock? Looks like it, yeah. Well, that's just fantastic. Of all the inescapable places in the galaxy, we had to end up here. I admit, it sounds pretty bad. No, this is way worse than bad. We're on the one planet that no one's ever returned from. Even the UN has declared this place off limits. Well, you're right. But there's nothing we can do about it now. Computer. Damage report. Main reactor offline. Engine 1 and 3 offline. Hibernation chambers 1 and 2 offline. Hibernation chamber 3 non-functional. Hull breaches detected in cockpit, medical room and cargo bay. Carbon dioxide concentration and ship exceeding toxic levels. Wow. That's all? Ah, uh, it's not as bad as it sounds. Yes, it is. No, listen. We might have a chance to get out of here after all. We still have one engine intact, and the thrusters seem to be working too. But you need to see what's wrong with the hibernation system and see those breaches. Go and check the CO2 filter in the med room. It hurts like hell when I try to move, so I'll just stay here. But I tried to scan the planet's surface for life signs. It's supposed it's supposed to be an examining table, but Johansson used it as an extension of the desk when he ran out of space while working on one of his experiments. But it's surprisingly tidy now. There's a syringe inside. This is where I found the syringe. I should present it with something to analyze. Opening hibernation chamber three. I can see something inside the drain, but I can't reach it with my fingers. It's too deep down. I don't want to put that there. I don't want to put that... The screwdriver isn't... I don't want to put that there. should operate the other screen. That turned off the ventilator in the medical room. The readout says that the carbon dioxide levels in the ship are too high. This device is mostly used to analyze chemical compounds.
I've taken out the old filter. I'll have to find a replacement somehow, but I'm almost sure that I won't find a spare part on the ship. I might have to rig something together from what I do find. That won't seal the hull breach. That won't seal the hull. That won't seal the hull. That's not going to seal the suit. I don't want to put that there. I don't want to put that there. I can't use any of that stuff. There's nothing else there. It's a universal adhesive that uses nanotechnology. This baby fills up holes and cracks like nothing else. The nanobots inside distribute the material so it's absolutely airtight after it is cured. I'll need something to carry it around in. full of fine leather jackets. The containers are blocking the way to the back of the cargo bay. They must have fallen down during the crash. I can't move them by hand. No use climbing it. The upper walkway is blocked as well. I don't want to light that on fire. That's no use. I don't want to stink that up. That doesn't require carbon. That doesn't require... I can't use that to replace the fuel cells transform. That's no use. That doesn't require carbon. It's an access panel for the life support system and the power grid. That was pretty easy. The steel pipe is part of the O2 circulation system. I wouldn't do any damage if I removed it. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. That won't seal the hull breach. That won't seal the hull breach. That won't seal the hull breach. That won't seal the hull. It's supposed to be an examining table. I'd better leave it clean as a... Analyzing sample. Please stand by. No living cells found in sample. Did you get that, Novak? Yeah. It looks like the nutritional fluid is shot to hell. It must have been the extreme gravitational forces. 
We'll have to replace the Floyd somehow. Have you seen all the sand out there? I doubt there's anything living on this dead rock. Ah, uh, I think I get the name now. That doesn't really help us, you know. But I've been able to scan the surface, and I found another vessel that has crashed. It's not too far. Were they caught in the same crap we were? How am I supposed to know? I don't even know why we crashed. I detected no life signs, so it must have been a while ago. Anyhow, you'll have to visit another ship. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. I've been unable to jumpstart the reactor. There's just not enough juice. Plus the computer says that the Padme injector is fired in engine 2. Damn. It looked like it was okay. The good news is that the other ship is emitting a standard military distress call. So it's probably a military ship, which means compatible parts for us. I never thought that one day I'd actually appreciate your enthusiasm for all things military. See? Anyways, see if you can find some replacement for the hibernation fluid, and a spare injector for the engine. And we'll need some extra power, so take that empty fuel set from engineering with you, if you haven't already. Is that all? And get me a cheeseburger while you're at it. Okay, bow out. Large try. Bow out. Diet Cola. Knock it off, you stupid son of a bitch. I heard that. I know. Now let me get to work. I've opened Johansson's hibernation chamber. It's a status report on the hibernation chambers. It says there's a malfunction in one of them. If we can't fix the hibernation system, there's no point in even taking off. We wouldn't survive the voyage without hibernation, even if we go to the nearest starbase. Nope. Nope. That doesn't... I'd better leave it clean as it... That may... The steel pipe is too thick to stick it down there. I need to figure out some other way to get it out, whatever that is. I already have some of the fluid. I'll need something with good leverage to move these containers. I'll need something with good leverage to move these containers. I'll need something with I'll need something with good leverage. I don't want to light that on fire. I don't want to light that on fire. It's a universal adhesive that uses nanotechnology. I'll need something with good leverage to move these containers. That doesn't need gluing. I could carry some of the nano glue around in that. I'll need something with... There's not enough glue in the syringe to seal the breach. I'll save this and try patching the hole with a larger dose later. That won't seal the hole breach. I can't turn on the ventilator because I've taken out the CO2 filter. I should operate the other screen. I should operate the That doesn't need gluing. That doesn't need gluing.
I can't use that to replace the fuel cell's transformer. That makes no sense. That doesn't need gluing. That doesn't need screwing. I don't... I don't want to stink that up. to get the rod out and seal the suit, but I don't think he'll be able to move anytime soon. His suit's medhack needs to take care of his wounds again. I'll just leave him here to rest for now. Oh yeah, and I broke the syringe in the process. Sorry about that. I managed to get the rod out and seal the suit, but I don't think he'll be able to move anytime soon. can reach the bottom with it, but I can't get that thing down there hooked. I need to figure out some other way to get it out. That doesn't need leverage. That doesn't need... That doesn't need... That doesn't need lev... That... Do that doesn't need lever... That doesn't need lever... I moved the containers out of the way with the steel rod. It's full of fine leather jackets, 